Ready? Ready. It's a little jingly. Jingling. Jingling. <laughs> I feel like we should stop drinking things while we're filming, but it makes me more relaxed and comfortable, you know, like talk show-ish. Yeah, <laughs> like you're on Good Morning America yeah, or something. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Steph. And I'm Kristen. You are? Mm -hmm, and I am. Oh, oh. Yeah, well, nice it's my internet you. persona. I'm not actually. Who did not, not my real Kristen? name. Oh. Alias. <laughs> yeah, such a cool alias. And of all the names I could have chosen for myself, I went with Kristen. We're gonna do a little advice video today. We asked you like a while ago to send us in your questions, not about us, but like anything you wanna ask us. Advice for you. Yeah, which is like terrifying that you're asking us for advice, I yeah. think. But I think that's why it's taken us so long because we were like, are we really gonna give people advice on their lives? Like. Yeah, because like we don't know what's happening in ours, <laughs> but hey, why not? We'll give it a go. Yeah, and like, so whatever we say, you have to take it with a grain of salt. Like also, yeah. you know, use some common sense and <laughs> yeah, if your it, gut. If it doesn't make sense, don't do it. Yeah, or but, try it. It could be fun. Yeah, and then let us know how it goes, <laughs> and, but don't get mad at us. It's okay. like a disclaimer, eh? Plus, I've chosen the questions, so that's always right. interesting. Uh, <laughs> at least up. you look pretty in <laughs> I shouldn't kiss you for that. You're being yeah, mean. You're making no, fun of me and no. I reward you. Yeah, reward me. <laughs> okay, question number one. Let's start it easy. <laughs> this is really easy. Should I study or watch something from your channel right now? Well, that's easy. Yeah, watch, watch something, something from our channel. <laughs> and then maybe go study. No, just, just watch. Cram study. Cram studying works the best anyway. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, how important is sex in a relationship? I guess like it all depends on the person. I think that people view sex in a relationship very differently mm -hmm. and i think that it's important just to be like on the same page with your significant other what do you value sex as in a relationship <laughs> like i would say it's up there like an eight nine ten because, possibly and, a ten and it does, that doesn't mean you have to be having amazing mind-blowing sex <clears throat> all the time I just it's think, not it doesn't mean that <laughs> no but you have to both want it and like you said i think it's a so important that you're both on the same page because if yeah. someone's like sex is 10 out of 10 important for me and the other person's like well i could take it or leave it mm -hmm. then i think things will get weird i think it's a eight nine and you think it's an eight nine we're good then i think we're ready mm -hmm. we're good yeah i think that's fine because it doesn't matter where you value it i think just as long as your significant other values it the same talk about it mm -hmm. but like, like, hey i kind of like this do you but like be more than friends <laughs> if you're both threes be threes you know what i'm saying and maybe and try work your way to eight, eight. <laughs> I would like to know how you two deal with jealousy. Kill a bitch. We have <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. We have different um, ways that we've dealt with jealousy. I feel like. I think jealousy is super common and it happens. And I think that's something that you learn with growing in a relationship. Because I feel like at the beginning of even our relationship, I was definitely less confident with us because mm -hmm. you never know sometimes where you stand and especially in a new relationship and things can, you can act a little bit more weird, I feel like, but just, you've got to be confident in your significant other. And if you are jealous and you think it's worth bringing it up, mm -hmm. you have to be careful on how you approach it because you yeah. don't want to take it into like, you're just acting crazy. You want it to be like a real conversation. I just think jealousy is such a detrimental feeling and quality to have. Usually jealousy stems from insecurities. I think like 98.9% .9 of the time. Don't quote on that. <laughs> no, I really think it does. And I think that comes with like, if you're insecure about anything in your life, that's when you get jealous about other people or that's mm -hmm. when you get jealous in a relationship. It's because you're totally. insecure in some way. And I just think for me, when it comes to relationships, I have a weird, and people are gonna think, oh, you're, you're lying, heartless. you're not. <laughs> no, but it's, it's not that I'm heartless. I just have never really felt any kind of jealousy when I'm in a relationship because A, you've never put me in that situation to have to feel that way. And I just, I've been confident in a relationship or I'm confident in myself and I know that I deserve something. So if someone that I'm with is treating me in a way to make me feel jealous, I, that's not the first place that I go because I'm like, well, you're dumb, you're ruining something. I don't deserve that, so. But then if people are jealous, you have to have a like a normal adult conversation and not brush it off. Because that's jealousy is a feeling that people do have mm -hmm. that aren't Christians. Um, I'm just kidding, babe. But you know yeah. what I mean? People do get jealous, but you have to just approach it in a way that it's not like a throw down right away. If you're being that crazy person every single time something happens, like maybe you have to look at yourself first and yeah. not the other person. And certain couples, I think they kind of thrive off mm -hmm. of jealousy and they think it's oh it's this cool fun thing because I'm jealous and you're mine and there's all this weird and I just think that's so unhealthy and I've never kind of understood that whole get if you don't get jealous of like... me going out and people <clears throat> are flirting with me then you don't care about me or you don't like me enough and it's like that's false but anyway whatever that's just my 
personal opinion on that matter. So I think tips for dealing with jealousy is first, try to just work on your self-confidence because I think the more confident you are, the less insecurities you're gonna have mm -hmm. and the less chance of getting to feeling jealous in the first place. And also realize that you deserve to be treated with respect. So if someone's putting you in a situation where you should maybe feel jealous, mm -hmm. then say goodbye. No, you need to talk to them about it first, <laughs> Kristen. <laughs> okay, have a conversation have with them. Have a conversation with them and figure out why you're feeling like that and see if it's their fault or if it's your own fault. And then you can deal with it after that. Okay. Don't say goodbye. Fine. Anyway, jealousy. Bye, jealousy. How do you girls do such cute, messy buns? Mine always makes me look homeless. <laughs> I almost I thought that was coffee. a very important question. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. You went from like super serious jealousy question to your musty bun. No. But honestly, like I don't know how to do a musty bun properly. You do like nicer musty buns. I feel like I think it's one of those things that anyone who has long hair has had this issue, and you have to not care. Because yeah. anytime that you care and you're like, oh, I want to do a really cute messy bun, it's probably never going to happen for you. <laughs> but if you're like, oh, I need to throw my hair up it's real true. quick, I'm going to wash my face. Then you look in the mirror and you're like, oh my God, that's amazing. I wish what my a cute bun. like that. <laughs> yeah. So you just have to try not to care. Just mm -hmm. go for it. Do you ever have guys hit on you two while you're out? How do you deal with that? It makes me so uncomfortable and afraid of going out. I mean, first of all, if you're getting hit on so much that you're afraid of going out, Good on you, girl, because you must be like your Beyonce status, I'm feeling. Yeah, she probably rolls with a sick posse. <laughs> For all of us mere mortals, how do we deal <laughs> with going out and getting uh, hit on? The relatable average group? Yeah. Um, well, yeah, it happens. I feel like anyone gets hit on. The guys hit on everything and anything, <laughs> I feel like. No offense to men, but they do. I think there's just like a line that sometimes is crossed, but until it's crossed, don't be all yeah. weird about it. Yeah, there are two types of yeah. guys. There are some who hit on you and it's fun and it's harmless and mm -hmm. you can just, you don't have to right away be like, oh my gosh, I'm in a relationship, I have a girlfriend, mm -hmm. or sorry, yeah. not interested. But if it gets to that point, then mm -hmm. obviously let them know. It's usually harmless. And if someone does cross the line and they're being rude, then by all means, stand up for yourself and say, sorry, I'm not interested. And just turn around and walk away. Right. And give but, them yeah. a little credit. If someone comes up to you and has the balls to hit on you at the bar, they're probably feeling a little mm -hmm. nervous and scared anyway. So maybe let them down easy at first. Mm -hmm. And then if they don't take it, then you can escalate and escalate. <laughs> Get out of there. Yeah. No, no. Uh, just because someone approaches you at the bar doesn't mean you have to have a 40 minute conversation with the person. Totally. Like just be like, oh, nice to meet you. Have so much fun with your friends tonight. I'm going to go find mine. Yeah. Done. Yeah. If you're talking about the ignorant guy who's hitting on you because you're there with your girlfriend and he knows you're together, then, then it's okay to be rude. <laughs> then just be like, buddy, come on. Yeah. yeah. Those are the people you can trust. But don't act like you care too much. Like, don't get really mad right away because then he's going to just enjoy it even mm -hmm. more. So just kind of act like, I don't have time for you. I think those are the ones that Chris and I roll our eyes and laugh. Like, are, is he for real? Yeah. Beyonce, all the best. <laughs> Go out and have some fun. <laughs> this one is a situation that one of our viewers is in. Okay. And I have strong feelings about this one. Uh oh. It's never a good thing. <laughs> My girlfriend said that her feelings for me are not the same as before, but I'm still in love with her. What would you do? Should I beg her to stay with me even if her feelings have changed because I don't want to lose her in my life? Girl, so are they no. still together? Yes, right they're still together. You have to move on. And I know it sounds harsh, I'm but. Heartless. <laughs> No, it's not heartless. I'm feeling for you and you're in a situation that it's only gonna get worse and worse and hurt more for you and you deserve so much more than someone who has feelings that are going down for you. Right. It's hard. It's really, it's easier said than done, but it's a band-aid that needs to be ripped off and it's gonna suck really, really bad mm -hmm. for a little bit. And it doesn't say that she has kids with her or anything like that. So it's not like they're trying to stay together because of like a family even. They're yeah, just yeah. in a relationship. She said my girlfriend. So no. And mm -hmm. exactly, like they're not engaged, they're not married. It's not like, oh, we need to work and work and work on I this. I feel like even if they were engaged at this point and she was like, yeah, I'm no. not feeling it, I think that's like, you need to go. Yes, you need to, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, I'm sorry if that sounds like tough love. Yeah, and I feel think that, for you. Yeah, I think that like obviously relationships, there's highs and lows and that there's some points where you're like, I'm like at a thousand percent with this person or sometimes I'm like, oh, they're annoying me today. But those are like, <laughs> they're annoying me today. <laughs>
Um, <laughs> you never annoy me. You I mean, annoy me all the time. Yeah, I probably annoy <laughs> you more than you annoy me, honestly. That's false. <laughs> Obviously, we're not saying that, like, just because you're on a bad day together, like, peace out. But if she's truly saying that her, her feelings, feelings have, have changed, changed, I think if it's gotten to the point where she's coming to you and saying, my feelings have changed, you she's probably to... been feeling that way for a long time. Yeah, it needs to unfortunately happen yeah and you know what it's gonna be better for both of you she won't have to feel like she's like keeping you in a relationship you won't have to feel like you have to always win her attention every two seconds mm -hmm. to like make her love you again and there's gonna be someone out there that's gonna love you they're gonna be hotter forever. nicer funnier and just better <laughs> you'll see last one i think there's only one more what do you say when people tell you it's just a phase or you girls are just really good friends by the way love y'all Love you too. <laughs> Love y'all. I wanted to say y'all, but it did, yeah. I can't say y'all because you're y'all. I like y'all. Okay, what was the question? No, I was okay, just too sorry. into the y'all. Okay. Sorry. What do you say when people tell you it's just a phase or you girls are just really good friends? So, what do you say? I think you say friends that have sex. <laughs> Why are they even asking that in the first place? It's probably, it's probably like their parents saying it's really just a phase. Okay. So probably don't say that to your parents. Like, I wish you could say that kind of thing to your parents. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't. don't say it to your parents. Um, sometimes I think people need to believe that maybe it's just a phase or maybe you're just really good friends. I'm speaking more in terms of like family members. So you can be clear with them and be like, no, we're actually more than friends. But it's not worth it to keep pushing and pushing and pushing because they need to deal with it on their end and wrap their heads around it. And that's, I think the ball's kind of in their court on that one. If they don't want to believe it, maybe they just need a little bit of time to get there. Mm -hmm. So just make it clear, like, no, we are more than friends. She's my girlfriend. And don't let someone else's thoughts or words about your relationship affect the way that you feel about your relationship. If you know you guys are together and you're committed to each other and you are girlfriends, then be girlfriends. Mm -hmm. And someone else's thoughts of what you're really doing with your life or your relationship shouldn't have any effect on your feelings. Right, that should be all that matters. But I know sometimes influences of people, it's hard to yeah. not let that bother you. But like, Or you want people to know. You want people to be happy for you right. and know that you're together. Just be yourselves. And if people want to think that, let them think that. And as long as you stand up for yourself in your relationship, I think that's all that matters. Yeah. That's all but, you can do yeah. sometimes. Sometimes people suck. <laughs> I think that's, that's it. All that's all the questions we have for this sit down session. You guys can take some of our advice or you can also go and talk to other people like your friends and yeah, people who know your situation might be able to help you a little bit better, obviously than us, yeah. but we're just kind of talking from past experiences in our lives and we know that everyone's lives are different. So, okay, girls, thank you so much for the questions. We had fun answering and um, if you have any advice, for the people who asked us the questions and you have better advice than we gave, <laughs> Which feel free <laughs> to leave your advice in the comments. Mm -hmm. Help probably. each other out. Yeah. So we will see you guys soon. Thanks so much. Bye. You're fine. <laughs> I know it is. Some of them are no, giving to you by I yourself. I meant to say that you refer to yourself as sometimes. Did you this morning? No. No. I don't, no. I don't talk in the third person ever. That's just Never. Weird. Does that. And then we have some saved in the bank for later. <laughs> saved in the bank. Saved in the bank. Cool. <laughs> just took control. Yeah. Yeah, it was kind yeah. of. Yeah. Feeling it. Yeah. <laughs>